Hey there, Ed Stead here in the Marine Department again, uh, going over a little bit about uh, six liters. Eight one engines are discontinued, so now the six liter was the um, changeover from the uh, 8.1. So I've got one right here in front of me, and I wanted to go over a little bit about this engine and the location of some of the components. It will be virtually identical on most of the General Motors used, you know, Inmar, Crusader, uh, Volvo, Merck, whoever is using this engine, um, it's the same idea. It'll look a little different in the configuration, um, but the location of some of the sensors is identical because the block, uh, the engine in a long block format is, is shipped from General Motors. So first off, if we wanted to um, go over a little bit what changes in the six liter, and this is the introduction to variable cam timed engines, is we're gonna come down here, right? And we're gonna look down on the bottom here to the, uh, you know, on the port side, stern drive engine, and there is this upside down connection here. That upside down connection goes up through a passageway and it goes into the um, cam phaser and it also goes into the camshaft sensor. So those two connections, all right, are kind of hidden, you know, behind all of the um, parts here on the engine. So it's kind of hard to get to, but you can get to that connection if you can hang upside down um, and you can check those connections. The other one is up here on the top of the engine, okay? Um, over here is your MAP sensor. So right on the top of the engine is your MAP sensor. You have a throttle body system here, and that throttle body system is shipped from General Motors. So the throttle body assembly has the drive-by wire motor, frequency-driven motor, okay? Driven at about uh, 4,000 hertz on earlier model systems. I'm not positive on the six liter. And then there are two TPS sensors inside. So TPS one and two, those two sensors are fed off five volt reference one. So the coolant temperature, that's one that people try to stumble around on a six liter and figure out where it is. Coolant temperature is in an odd spot. It's over here on the port side, right uh, above the number one spark plug wire. Okay, so that's the connector right there for that. And then the oil pressure sensor, Okay, it goes all the way around the back. And the oil pressure sensor on a six liter is back here. Okay, so there's your oil pressure sensor. So those are the major sensors on the engine. You have your throttle position, you have your, um, your MAP sensor, your coolant temperature, and then of course, um, the intake air temperature sensor. And the intake air temperature sensor is on the back side of the flame arrestor on Volvo. So it's back here, which is a, an early takeoff from the actual 8.1s, 8.1 GIAs that were introduced. So those were most all the sensors are. This engine is an EVC engine, so it has the PCU on the top, and this is the new um, PCU that has a 70-pin PCU harness in it. And then the EGC introduction to the 4G EGC processor over here. This is a 120-pin four row processor from e-controls so um off the back you know on the on the sensors on the exhaust you have your pre-cat sensor and your manifold your post-cat sensor and then down i'll go around the other side because it's easier to see it um, these engines on volvo use closed coolant for their manifolds and their engine so there's a block off plate here so your raw water comes in here so the only temperature sensor we have we don't have a temperature sensor for the manifold we only have a temperature sensor for the riser okay and that one's kind of hidden back there 